Hey, hello everyone. Hope everyone is well today. I'm Paul Apollonia. I'm going to be showing you what I sold on eBay for last week, uh, April 19th to April 25th, 2021. It is April 27th today. Sorry for the delay. Still in the recovery mode for my total right knee replacement. Everything's doing great. I'm about 10 days of post-op. Uh, been doing PT, been doing PT on my own. Uh, they said I can walk on the cane around the house. Uh, pretty good. Had a post op uh, appointment with the physician, surgeon, and he liked what he saw. So everything's going great, which I'm thrilled at. Uh, the pain I'm having now is nothing like I had before. So uh, thanks for all the messages. Thanks for all the prayers and thoughts and everything. I appreciate it. Um, I'm Paul Apolloni again. I've been selling on eBay, which feels like forever over 20 years uh pretty seriously about 15 years ago uh, did uh, started doing a lot of consignment for a friend of mine sorry i got some dogs running around here today um and that got me sort of turned on the consignment consignment is not for everybody i like doing it um i like helping people it works out for me um it's a 50 50 split uh, for the first hundred and uh, the uh, person pays the fees so if I sell some product box, I get 50 bucks and then they pay the fees and they're happy with that. And my percentages go down from there as the value goes up the item. I also do a lots of parting out of items. I am just about done. I know I've been saying this for a long time. My uh, dishwasher uh, parts uh, course on Teachable. It's going to be a heck of a course. I'm going to make it really, really affordable because I can use some uh, <laughs> some cash to pay the, uh, the medical bill here for this uh, knee replacement. Um, and I also do eBay training via Zoom and other online venues now. Nothing's in person. Hopefully, that will open up shortly. And I run the uh, Raleigh eBay Ecom Meetup Group. We meet second Thursday of the month at 7 p.m. on Zoom, but it's going to be going over to eBay's uh, platform. I forget the name of it, but eBay wants to have their own platform for all the meetups, which is fine. It'll cost me a lot less than being on Meetup. Um, Last week was a little slow. I was a little slow. <laughs> so uh, I'm getting better. I'm almost back to normal here in my head and everything. It's just really weird after the surgery. Um, listed a, a few things last week, not a whole lot. I was, like I said, I was kind of like uh, kind of in the days. Um, I didn't make a lot, whole lot of money last week. Um, people ask me, what do you do when you go away on vacation or when you have to go away? What I personally do is there's those vacation modes you can put your store in. You have to have a store to use those. Um, or you can mess around with your handling time. I chose to uh, move my handling time out five days. And I was kind of surprised how much I sold. But now normally when I'm away, like if I'm away for a week, I'll move it out one day further than, than when I come back. Like if I'm going to be back in four days, I move it out to five days. And as I'm away, because I always bring my computer with me, especially my wife hates that. Um, each day, I will knock a day off the handling time. So there'll be five, four, you know, and goes down to one. This time, I just left it at five. I figured I'm not going to mess with it. Um, I didn't do any packing or anything until um, my surgery was Friday. I didn't do any, anything. I don't think I even went upstairs into my little shipping area till Thursday, maybe Wednesday. I can't quite remember. Um so, uh, and I moved, I just moved my handling time back down to, uh, not same day, but one business day. And I sold a few things when I did that. So it's always good to manipulate your listings like that every once in a while. So that's the way I do it. Uh, we all run our businesses differently. Uh, I don't tell people how to do things, but that's what I do. And it seems to work for me. I've heard a lot of times when you put your store on vacation mode, when you take it off of vacation mode, it takes a while for things to get going again in search. Like it could take days. So that's why I kind of don't do that anymore, but that's just me. All right, let's see what we sold. I'm going to uh, hopefully tell you what I made on each item, where I got it, how much it costs, and um, we'll go from there. And the other thing I did do is I, I do do a, some thrifting through thrift stores and garage sales, but not that much, kind of not my thing. I do stop at a thrift store once a week. Well, when I was playing golf, we won't talk about that right now. Um, on Thursdays, I stop at the thrift store on the way back drop off a box of dead inventory and look around and see what they have. Kind of like to buy the electric, electronic items at thrift stores. Let me 
And make that much smaller. I should have to see my ugly mug. Okay, this is a very, very old, 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 old item, obviously, from the 50s. It's a roulette wheel. That is listed since 2018. This is from a very old, obviously, consignment client. That not that I've parted ways with, but they've decided to sell their own stuff, and that's fine. And I don't know whatever happened to their stuff. I really don't ask after people say, I kind of think I want to sell my own stuff. But what's cool about this client was he had four storage units. I knew him for years and years and years. He said, look, I know it's a tough business. Anything under $100, just keep anything over. We'll split. I went, that's great. So most of the stuff I sold was under $100. <laughs> um, but this is this is mine now at this point. I mean, so $29.99, free shipping. I had this originally well over $70. I lowered it. Yeah, I lowered it, and I just left it at twenty nine ninety nine. I did not make much money on this. It went out west. I think I spent about twelve dollars on shipping. Um, I used to get tons of questions on this thing. My gosh, it's twenty nine dollars, and the questions were pretty absurd. But I would answer them. I always answer questions. Remember, when somebody messages you, you want to answer that message quickly as possible eBay wants to see action or activity on your account, no matter what it is, messaging, listing, whatever. Had I packed this, I just cut a box open and flipped it inside out and just rolled this in that box like I do with the dishwashers. And then I tuck the ends in like you're wrapping a Christmas gift or a birthday gift. Probably made after shipping. I think this went out UP. No, it went out, Fed, went out FedEx because my wife helped me uh, drop off some stuff. I guess it was Monday. I guess so. I forget. I don't know. This whole, whole this is a surgery. Every day is a blur. Probably made about $10, maybe $12 on this. Not a whole, probably more than that. Maybe $15 on this. Not a whole lot of money. But hey, I'm good with that. Um, people ask me, boy, you sell a lot of low end things. Well, to me, and again, everybody runs their businesses differently. To me, a sale is a sale. A dollar is a dollar. Um, if I can get it listed uh, within a few minutes, if it's a quick pack, quick ship, whatever, and I can make even a buck or two, I will do it. I know some people don't touch anything if they're not going to make any less than $20, $40, $50. That's fine. That's great. Lovely. I don't tell people what to do. That's more items for me out there. Now, when it comes to consignment, um, there has to be a lot of high end items for me to do low end low profit items for for me to do low profit items for people. There has to be some high end profit items if that makes sense. <laughs> um, like for example, I'll tell you over and over again, make friends with everybody that's in your that's your competition as long as they are friendly back and they're not being uh, cookies, whatever. Um, this guy's great. His name's Trader Chris. He's in Pittsburgh. He deals with high-end consignment clients, estate stuff, jewelry, like stuff that like he makes big bucks on every item. He doesn't want to mess with low-end stuff like this. So he had a guy call him a couple months ago, water pick salesman, hunter pan salesman, 20 years ago. He has a garage full and a basement full of stuff. And he sent them to me and we've had a great relationship. I sold several things and I've made hundred hundred and fifty dollars off of old humidifiers room humidifiers uh sold a hunter fan from the 90s in a box never oh well, i mean i opened it to make sure it was in there for 86 dollars. so in this case i'll take the low end stuff it does sell again 50 50 split so i made what 899 on this 898 on this uh so that's not bad uh, i never do free shipping when i'm doing consignment it just messes up my matrix I try anymore. I'm not a big fan of free shipping anyway, just because I just don't like it. It's just, I, I just don't like it. Um, but anymore, I try and do what the solds are. Like if I see free shipping, I'll do free shipping. Just make sure you add the cost of shipping or your guesstimated cost or whatever. Like this is a guesstimate. Uh, $7.99, I ship it out first class. I'll make $3, maybe $2.50, maybe four dollars on this uh, i do keep the money i do not refund the buyer the difference in shipping they see the cost in shipping i have a set of economy when you choose economy you can pick any option on ebay the problem with economy is people see it's going to be a nine to twelve day delivery time i'm sure i lose some sales from that 
I probably should have two options on there. I probably should have the economy, and I know this would go out first class, and I should have a first class option out there. I keep on forgetting to do that, to be honest with you. I have all these in templates and everything. Also, remember on eBay, if you ship through eBay, first class goes up to 15 or 16 ounces, one pound. If you take that same item to the post office, it only goes up to 13 ounces, and many post offices do not realize that. And when you drop off something and it's over 13 ounces, they will reject it and say it's not first class. Take it to a post office that knows the eBay rules. I was stuck with that a couple of weeks ago, right before my surgery. I dropped some first class things off in another post office, not thinking they were over 13 ounces, and they all got sent back to me the next day. I just reprinted the label and resent them out and sent them to my post office close by. What else? Oh, yeah, all my pictures done on my phone. I use a combination of my phone and my Chromebook, which is not a PC, not a Mac. It's a Chromebook, which I love um, for listings. I'll try and find a cell similar, or if I have a template, I'll use that, and I will upload the pictures to my phone. Uh, I know a lot of people just use their phone all the time for everything, which is great. I wish I could do that. I just can't. Um, I know the Apple phone, iOS, is really geared towards the eBay app. Android is really, really good, but not as good as the Apple app. So let's go to the next thing. We'll have any items here this week. I'm trying to go as fast as I can for you. Talked about cigar boxes before. Again, another low-end item, but that's fine with me. $9.99. I'm a cigar smoker, not a real heavy cigar smoker. Actually, I haven't had hardly anything since my surgery, which is fine. Um, I go to a cigar store, wine store, and I see these boxes sitting there. They are free. $9.99. Shipping is about, it goes up first class. Four bucks. Maybe four fifty, maybe five dollars. We're not talking about a high end dollar sale. I average about five dollars, five to six dollars on cigar boxes. Um, the ones to look out for are the Cohiba boxes. Um, they're really intricate laid boxes, and the my father's cigar boxes. They are pretty good, really almost like handcrafted boxes. I, I sell those for twenty four ninety nine free shipping. Again, these are not high end sales, but remember, I'm paying nothing for these items. I'm going. Oh, okay. Thank you for my cigars. Oh, there's boxes over there. And I know exactly which ones sell and which ones don't. I only take the ones that sell. Sometimes I sell them in lots. Most of the time I just sell them individually. If I do have multiple quantities, I will have multiple quantities in a listing. And I always offer a discount for more than one. Uh, dishwasher, silverware, baskets. Um, these are four to a bunch on a Bosch, but I saw people selling them one, one single. I'm going, I could get $24.99, $29.99 from the whole four of them. Let me sell them individually. So I listed them right before my surgery and I sold four of them. Uh, the one bubala I did, the one screw up I did, which I hope is not going to be a problem. If it is, I was just going to refund people because I don't have time to mess with it. Because it's not a high-end sale and it is free delivery. Uh, the, all these did go up first class. Uh, about six bucks shipping, maybe? I forget what they were. Um, probably made about $11, $12 on these. I wasn't paying attention and I was just shipping out. I've got some with... Hang on. I've got some with... Hang on. I've got some with this cover and some without. And I messed up and I was just shipping out ones that people bought with the cover and I was shipping out ones without the cover. Um, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Sometimes people don't care. They don't realize that they're getting a the cover. Sometimes they do. If there's an issue, I'll try and offer a partial refund. If that doesn't work, I'll just refund them and just take it as a loss. I mean, what can you do? But I do a lot of dishwasher parting out, parting out of dishwashers. Um, here I had all... I had two of these and I had four of the other ones. So I um and I'm real happy with myself here that I messed up. I don't like messing up like this. Um here we go. Let me explain. Item specifics are very, very, very important. Did I say they were important? They're really important. Uh these are based on Google searches and eBay searches. Try and use as many item specifics as you can. Uh, make up your own if you want. Uh, always try and select one when you click on one of these when you're creating your listing. You'll see a drop down menu. Try and select one of those in the drop down menu. Millions of people have searched on that. That's why it's in a drop down menu. Excuse me. 
My descriptions are short and sweet. I always make sure I'm selling appliance parts that I'm stressing I am not responsible for the part not fitting. Seemed like it was silverware basket week last week. Uh, this was just another basket from a KitchenAid, I think it was. All depends. Don't be, sometimes these are Whirlpools. Like that's a Whirlpool number, but it's a KitchenAid dishwasher. It's kind of weird. Um, so not a whole lot of money. Went out first class, went out in a little tiny eBay uh, bubble padded envelope. Uh, didn't make much money. Probably made about six bucks on this, seven dollars on that. Video VHS tapes? What are you insane? I'm not selling no stinking VHS tapes. People tell me, I'll take them. Uh, certain ones that did not make it to DVD, cult classics, stuff like that. It did not make it to DVD or worth some serious money. Uh, this was 18.99 for a VHS tape. I sent it out media mail because it was pretty close to me. I had heard they were having problems with media mail with the tracking and stuff. $18.99 for a VHS tape that somebody gave me for nothing. Notice, notice the one thing with me. Somebody gave me. I got it for nothing. It didn't cost me anything. I found it on the shelf. <laughs> Always tell everybody you know what you do. I don't care if you got to tell it to them 50 times. Every time you say, hey, don't forget, I sell on eBay or I'm Amazon or whatever. I sell online. I sell used clothes. I sell whatever tiddlywinks, whatever, because they're going to come to you someday going, you know what? I got this stuff on my garage. Do you want it? Or do you want to buy this junk? Or do you want to do a consignment deal with me? I've got this $500 Marantz receiver that I really don't want to mess with. Do you want to split that 50-50? So just always tell everybody what you're doing because that's what happens to me. I get a lot of stuff for nothing. VHS tapes, remember, things like Barney, uh, workout, old workout tapes, the Billy, uh, the guy that's on the, um, is it the Geico commercial, progressive commercials? Look at Billy Blanks is his name, whatever. The boxing guy, those, uh, the uh, steel abs, steel butt videos, whatever. Um, just any kiddie stuff that didn't make it. Um, veggie tails do well. You're not going to make a lot of money on these, on the veggie tails. You're buying Solomon sets for probably $19.99 for a set. Um, so, hey, but this money, it usually goes out media mail or depends. You probably still can get those out going out first class. But yes, VHS tapes do sell. I did not test this. Let's see what I put down here. I can't remember because like it sold, it listed in 2019. Um, I did how this information came up is this is product information through eBay, that when, when you create your listing at the very top, you'll see a fine product in eBay, and that's what I did, I guess. Um, let's just say rental. I don't know if it was a, yes, former rental, because why I thought it was a rental was I am not an expert in VHSs. I just poke around a lot. Nope. Where is the, uh, I don't know why I did formal rental. There was some kind of number on the side of it, I think. Oh, there it is. That right there probably is what I was thinking. It was a formal rental. They are thrilled with it. They got it the other day. They are just thrilled with it. They're so happy they got it because it's like not available out there. Keep your eye on VHS tapes. You can probably get them for nothing on Craigslist or people are just throwing them out. Um, at the dump, there are Gaylord boxes. Gaylord boxes are those big brown boxes that are on top of pallets that you see at your big box store. They put pumpkins and watermelons and all kind of different things in them. Uh, those, that's a Gaylord box. I see Gaylord boxes them at the dump. They won't let me take anything out of them, but oh well. Um, I told you before, my father-in-law was a uh, bath and tile guy and kitchen guy way back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. He has since retired a very long time ago. He is very old. He is 97, still somewhat there mentally, still dry. So we won't talk about that. Um, and I was over at his place a couple of months, probably last year, and him and his son were clearing out some things under the garage, under the house, and they pulled out all these things. And I said, look, I'll give you $5 a piece for him. He goes, I don't need to worry about just take them. I'm like, cool. This is probably the eighth, this is probably the 20th one I've sold. I've got these, even old tiles, even old bathroom tiles sell, the old cove tiles sell, the, the cove like that for, you know, the bottom of the 
I have beige, white of those, and I sell those pretty regularly, $50 for five. Talking about tiles, bathroom tiles. Um, so I did free shipping. This went right into a uh, regional A box, the square one. Lots of wrapping, lots of wrapping paper, lots of bubble wrap in there. Um, again, free shipping. Uh, that was like probably eight bucks to ship it, maybe seven fifty to ship it. Probably made about nineteen dollars on that. Again, another free item. Another one of these. Again, you notice the thing is not there. The cover is not there. Oops. <laughs> um, so that again, that's not that much. Here's a low end sale right here. Gosh, probably. Four years ago, I was assigned a client. I was helped clear out two storage units. Uh, not a good situation. I don't know what was going on with her. I don't know. Her husband kicked her out or whatever, but she was a mess. And she ended up giving me tons of stuff. She gave me boxes and boxes of DVDs. Not big dollar items. They sat in my garage for a couple of years. I actually, I forgot about them. It's my death garage, not death pile. Got them out about a year ago. I thought, I'll just give them to um, Declutter. It's an app on your phone, and they give you like 35 cents a piece for them. And I thought, oh, whatever, that's fine. Just get rid of these. So I thought, let me look on eBay. Looked on eBay, looked at who was selling most of this stuff, and it was Declutter. And I thought, why not just make seven fourteen on DVDs and stuff like that. So that's what I did. Very quickly, I scanned them into my phone using the app, which was great, using the UPC number on a DVD and it popped up right up. I was able to list 30, 40 of these an hour right in front of the TV on the couch. I draw my kids and my wife watch TV. I don't watch much TV. Then I alphabetize them in a box, put them right next to some padded envelopes that I got specially for uh, the DVDs. I'm not making a lot of money on these, but I'm telling you, not last Christmas, 2021, 2020, I swear this is what got me probably one of the best Christmases I've ever had on eBay because it was bringing in volume into my store, bringing activity. People were able to see my store and they were buying other things. Yes, do I sell these for cheaper than seven fourteen? Yes. Do I make a dollar sometimes, a dollar fifty on these? Yes. Do I do cartwheels when I sell them for a dollar a dollar fifty? No. <laughs> but all I know is I go to that box, I alphabetize them, look them up, put them right in. Ship it out. I do not use stamps. I go through e. I go through the post office, and I do pay for the media mail. I could use stamps, save a lot of money. Then I have no tracking, and I have no nothing. And I know there's issues with media mail, but I'd rather just use media mail and have some kind of tracking. We are almost there to the end. Another free item I got from the thrift store uh, a couple of years ago. One of the Habitat for Humanities used to have shopping carts out with free stuff. I used to get fan blades, which I used to flip on eBay for uh, $28 plus shipping, you know, ceiling fan blades, measured them out and everything. I did very well with those. And I used to grab anything else there. And they had these globes there. So I grabbed them and I listed them. And they've been listed, oh, not bad, since 2020. Um, these are really tough to, like, list and try and figure out what the heck am I selling. I did find one that looked like this. Um, it went out last week sometime or at the beginning of this week. Again, paid nothing for it. The shipping was way under $11.99. I think it was right at $8. I think it actually went into an A box. I can't remember. I've been using a lot of A boxes and stuff recently. Um, tried to take as many pictures as I can of the size and all this stuff. Did I take physical picture measurements? Yes. So people know what size is. Um, these things are probably for vintage homes, classic homes. People use these. They're looking for them. They're probably hard to find. So keep your eyes off for those. Again, that was a free item. I ended up listing a ton of these. Um, as you can tell, I sold a ton, a ton of these um, silverware baskets, which I could have sworn were listed on eBay already when I pulled the box down to check them. And they were not. They had item numbers on them and everything. I have no idea what happened. I couldn't tell you. I don't know what happened. I could have sworn they were listed, but they weren't. So I relisted a ton of them before my surgery, and I sold quite a few. And here is the last one of 
these. Like I said, I don't know if this person, I don't know. Like I said, this one doesn't have a cover on it. <laughs> Whatever they are going. So that is about it. Um, oh, shoot, before I forget, gosh, I meant to say it's very, getting, very beginning. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. I know it's only six, 12 subscribers. Not many to any YouTubers out there, but I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. I am, I know, I sound like a broken record. That's a record was a thing we used to put on a thing that spun and if it was broken, it would go boop, 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 and repeat itself for you young people out there. I sound like a broken record of, I'm going to get more videos out there. I am doing my best. I need to just do better than my best to get more videos out for you guys. It's the least I can do. But that is it. Don't forget. I do eBay training, send me a message, send me an email, comment in the comments if you need that. eBay, Raleigh eBay meetup group, which we're going to remove the meetup out of there because it's not going to be a meetup anymore. Uh, second Thursday of the month. The next one is in May, obviously. I forget what the second Thursday is, 7 p.m. It's a Zoom It's a, a Zoom meeting. Come on, join us. It's a $5 fee. You can pay that through either PayPal or Vimmo. And uh, also, don't forget my dishwasher courses. I hope to be done and be available. Uh, this week. All right, my friend, thank you so much. You guys have a great day. It's a beautiful day out there. I should be outside doing this video, but I decided to be in here with my knee and everything. It's perfect tight with this chair. All right, my friends. Till next time. I'll see you. Have a good day.